Hello, Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got ourselves an IBM Wheelwriter, IBM Wheelwriter 3, that had a couple problems. The first one we've already fixed was the uh, ribbon lift. Wasn't raising high enough, and it's an adjustment down here along the gears for the ribbon lift, the height was off. That was really a standard procedure repair. Got that printing right. But the other problem this machine has is when it goes back and forth, it's got a noticeable thump that was seemed worse yesterday. But what's wrong is there's a gear back here. And let's see if we can see it here. Let's see if I can get some light down right where it's supposed to be. So this gear is this gear and there's a crack in it and it's separated. So this gear looks good. This is out of a Wheel Rider 5 that I just stripped it out of but we're gonna see if we can see that with the camera. Way down in here. There it is. So it's back there. You can see the gear right there. And if I space bar this, you can see the crack right there. Let's see if I can get a flashlight on here instead of a because it's right on the it's right on the mark right there. It's right where the light's shining. That's got a crack right there. Kind of hard to see it, but there it goes. You can see it over there. It goes around. There it is. Big old crack. So when it goes to mesh that gear, it causes a thump. And also, it, it doesn't uh, line up right for correction. It causes all kinds of problems. And it's only going to get worse, probably. So we're going to... See how fast we can swap that gear out. All right, so let's take this case off. Use this. It shouldn't take too long. If the only trouble I've had with those is the, the screws are Phillips head screws, and they uh, they don't have a very good very good head on them and you can never get the they're in an awkward position and you can never get the screwdriver connected right but I've got a few tricks for that too okay so let's push this over here because here's what we're going to get to there's three <clears throat> there's three screws holding this thing on See all three from here. So we got one, two, and you can't see the third one. In fact, looks like I'm going to have to take the uh, secondary gear off here to get to it. The parts machine I took must have had that gear off it already. Oh uh, well, this might not be as as quick as we thought. Oh. Yeah, that, that that bottom screw is well. No, there is no bottom screw. There's a top screw here, so. It's just being held on by two screws. It should be third one right there. So I should be able to get to this. Let's, uh, let's stick the Phillips head in here and just try this, but it's not going to move. 
Nope, didn't budge. Neither does that one. So, I'm going to take the old mechanics trick and see if I can make some room here. And we're going to whack the sucker. So you line the <clears throat> nice blade up right here on the screw and you whack it and give it a kick start. Here we go. Okay, that one might be ready. I'll do the other one. I've got the screwdriver down here. Okay, let's try that. Let's see what happens. Okay, that one did loosen up. But it's still still not cooperating. Just the worst. There it goes. And just the worst. Okay. <coughs> okay. We got one out there. loose. Come on. There it is. It is loose. It's that little hammer trick. It just knocks the screw, breaks the screw free. It's a good trick. i using that trick since day one. Okay, there we go. <coughs> so I'll just unplug this motor up here. And it can slide out the side here. Our big old crack right down to the core. So, new motor. Well, not new motors, old motor, but the gear has not cracked yet. So, I think at one point, <coughs> excuse me, we were able to uh, buy this gear and then and then press it onto the shaft. It's pressed on. But, we just going to replace it. What I did in advance, these screws, they go in there. They got a Phillips head on them. And it's just a terrible Phillips head. I haven't yet found a screwdriver that matches up to this properly. Plus, the angle is, is not direct. So, take the screws that you have when you reinstall it and cut a slot in here. A screwdriver slot so you know so your, uh, your good screwdriver will fit in there Can't find my good screwdriver there we go so now a straight head will fit in here it lines up fits in there good just cut it with a dremel tool cut a slot in here and that's what we're going to put back in here. So let's put this motor back in here. And I think it goes like that. Flip it in. And then it's got a little, just lines up a little bit. And there we go. So I'm going to actually use one of the old screws and put it in the top right here. Get this so it's stabilized. I'll have to hold it. Top screw is the only one that's lined up right. So let me get that started.
and then we'll get the other one started. Okay, get down, I'm going to check the, looks pretty good, I think we can get these other two started, okay, so let's try this one, I'm going to do something else here to Put it down here with, and try to get this started. Again, the angle is part of the problem, but it started. It's going to be no problem. All right. <coughs> Also cut a slot in that screw already. And we're gonna stick that down there. Let's see if we can get this started. Come on, let's go. Alright. Looks like it's like she started already. Come on. There we go. Good deal. These need to be very tight. This is a pretty heavy duty motor gear assembly. Okay, tight, tight, and get the better screwdriver in here and give it some good torque here. Whatever you do, don't strip the head. Okay, perfect. Let's try this one. Okay, perfect. And let's go ahead and tighten up that third one that wasn't even in this machine. With that standard Phillips said it's crummy fit, but that's it. Connect the motor. Alright, let's get some of this stuff out of the way. Plug the machine back in over here. Off. I want to move this manually. Oh yeah. So now it's it feels much better. See that? There's no there's no clicky sound or anything. It's it's nice. All right. That's how you place a motor on a wheel rider. Oh yeah. Nice and smooth. Everything's looking good over here. Alright, that is a carrier motor replacement on an IBM Wheel Rider 3. This will probably work on a Wheel Rider 5 or 6. See, I'll take the same, especially the version, version 1s take this motor. <clears throat> version 2, I think, takes a different motor. And it doesn't have the it doesn't have the big circuit board version two. It's got a different circuit board, <clears throat> and then the Wheel Rider tens and above are different. They changed that motor from a super heavy duty motor to a more compact motor. All right, 
That's our video of the day. Little video of the moment. Good day.